guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing my August 2013 glam bag or ipsy bag haul slash review video for you guys. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of an update in the beginning of this video. So if you guys don't want to know anything about uh, my life or what's going on or my new makeup collection and storage, and I will have a video on that coming up soon, I will put a little annotation on where you can skip to in the video right here. But I'm going to be doing a little update of my life first. I haven't put up a video in a couple of weeks and I'm really sorry about that. But as you guys can see, I'm in my old background if you guys haven't been following my videos for a while um, I used to film in this background this is my background back at home normally where I film is my apartment at my school so right now it is summer and I am back home for summer and I'm gonna try to film and upload as many videos as possible I have a lot going on for me this next coming year and I did want to warn you guys a little bit I am now entering my senior year of college I'm going to be graduating next June and that is crazy to me because I started filming videos I think my junior year of high school so I've been filming videos for over four years now and it's insane because I can't believe I'm almost graduated with college that's crazy and anybody who's graduated from college knows that college years fly by in the blink of an eye it literally feels like I just graduated high school and here I am a year away from graduating college but after college, I am planning on continuing my education, just an FYI. I've gotten a lot of questions on that, asking if I was going to go right into a job or if I was going to continue studying, and I am going to continue studying. I'm going back for my master's, and that's going to be pretty crazy and pretty hectic. I am now in the process of taking my GMAT, which is the exam you need to take to go for your MBA, which I'm going to do a master's of business administration, so that's an MBA. So it is going to be a a lot of work in this next year. I'm going to be studying for and taking my GMAT. I'm going to be applying to grad schools and it's going to be a lot of stress. It's going to be like the senior year of high school all over again trying to get into colleges and that's going to be not a lot of fun but YouTube is going to be my little outlet for when I don't want to study and when I don't want to be applying to college when I don't want to think about school YouTube is my little getaway and that's one reason why I love making videos so much is because it is my little getaway from all of the real life problems and all of the real life I guess they're not really problems but just all the real life stuff that I have to do and then also you guys can probably see if you guys have been looking at this corner right over here I have some new makeup collection and storage if you guys have been following me on Instagram or Twitter because my Instagram and Twitter are linked so when I put a picture up on Instagram it goes to Twitter too but um, I have been posting a lot of pictures of my new makeup collection and storage and I am going to be having a full makeup collection and storage video coming up very soon I've been requesting so so much if you guys go back in any of my past like I don't know 20 30 videos I'm pretty sure that's like the number one thumbs up liked comment is updated makeup collection updated makeup collection so I didn't want to do a new one even though I've been requested it for so long now just because my storage hasn't changed at all I personally like watching makeup collection and storage videos mainly for the storage not so much for the collection I know some people love to see makeup collections and see what people have in their collection I prefer to see the storage ideas just because I like finding new and innovative ways to store items that's where I got the whole Sephora inspired brush holders like that idea from and also the units that I got let me just turn the camera a little bit so you guys can see ta-da I'll be showing all of that in depth in my makeup collection and storage video but the units I got are the Ikea nine drawer Alex units and I love them I got four of them and not all four are filled with makeup just FYI but um I love them they make my organization and my collection so much nicer and it's so much more fun to put on makeup because I'm not running around my room in like three different spots because I had some makeup in my closet some makeup over here some makeup over there and it was just insanity so yeah makeup collection and storage video will be coming up very soon I want to get everything perfectly organized and the way I like it before I film that video but that video will be coming up very very soon all right so enough ranting I'm sure you guys are kind of tired of it and are like get to the ipsy bag already so let's get into the ipsy bag so this month's bag is really really cute it says ipsy glamour academy all over it and it has this cute little 
symbol all over and I think they were going for the whole back to school theme because August is the month of back to school and so I think it was really cute and I love the products I got this month as well. So here's what the little Glamour Academy card looks like and let's jump right into the products. So the first thing I got is this Nail Teeny Nail Polish and this one is in the shade Mai Tai which is a really gorgeous bright creamy orange color. Um, it is super super pretty. I'm sure I have a color kind of similar to this. It sort of reminds me of Butter London's Jaffa and um, I've seen a couple colors by Sally Hansen kind of reminiscent of this but it's a beautiful spring and summertime polish. This would be really pretty for back to school too because I don't know it's just so bright and out there and I really love it. The next thing I got is the Michael Todd Pumpkin Facial Mask and this is a pretty decent sample size of it. It is one fluid ounce and I've heard lots and lots of things of the Michael Todd skincare here on YouTube and I've never tried it. I've heard really good things about the Michael Todd um, charcoal products like his charcoal mask and the face wash and stuff. Unfortunately this is something to moisturize and nourish the skin and I actually have really really oily skin so I don't generally look for moisturizing face masks I generally go for the mud masks or the clearing pore shrinking oil absorbing those kinds of masks so I will definitely try this out but I don't really have super high hopes for it just because I prefer my masks to draw out impurities and not put in moisture. The next thing I got is this Pixie Lash Booster Mascara. It's just a little mini size of the mascara. Um, it's really nice to try. It's not in waterproof or anything. I've never tried any Pixie makeup products actually before. I know you can get them from Target. I've never really been attracted to the brand so much so it's nice that I get to try this mascara. I do have a lot of mascaras right now that I've opened so I want to use those up first but I will definitely try this out. The next thing I got is this Mica Beauty Cosmetics. This is their shimmer powder in the shade bronze and it is a beautiful beautiful bronzy shimmer powder. I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can probably use this on your eyes, your face. It doesn't specifically say eyeshadow so I'm sure you can use it as a facial highlight if you want. It is very very shimmery though. It kind of reminds me of the Bare Minerals eyeshadows. It's very very finely milled shimmer so it's not chunky glitter but it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this as an eyeshadow. I already swatched it and it looks so so beautiful. And then the last product in my August Ipsy bag and this was my most exciting product. When I heard they were giving out this product in the Ipsy bags this month I was really really hoping I would get one and it is a mini size of the new Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks and I've already hauled a couple of these from Sephora. I don't think I've mentioned it in a video. These are brand new lipsticks. And I got a couple of them when I saw the display in Sephora, but I did not get this shade. This one is called 69, and it is a beautiful, um, it's like a red, but it's like a pinky red. Because when you just put it on alone, it really does look like a bright red. But when you swatch it next to like a true red, they have a true red in their line called F-Bomb. And when I swatch the two next to each other, this one definitely pulls a little bit more pink. And F-Bomb pulls very much like a true red. So I am super, super excited about this. And it is the cutest little lipstick in the world. And oh, I love it. So those were all of the products in my August Ipsy bag a pretty nice bag this month. I am the most excited about the nail polish and of course the little Urban Decay lipstick um, but everything I got I'm really excited about so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the update as well and if you guys have any video requests definitely let me know if you guys have any questions. If you want me to do a Q&A video I actually got some requests for that in a previous video for me to do like a question and answers video whether it be on beauty products or my personal life or anything I can do that too just let me know if you want to see that and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye